about leisure and to sing things about leisure and, and snap not be exalted about leisure. She sing visions and still humble. Still approachable. Since I've been talking to her, just just beautiful spirit. Beautiful spirit. I'm just honored to be in her presence. Amen. Amen. And I can go on, but I'm sure many of you all had a testament about reading her books. Amen. 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 So many people around the country, around the world. They've been written in over 70 languages all over the world. Hallelujah. And I believe everybody needs to read Mary Catherine Baxter's books. Amen. 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 Without further ado, everyone stand to their feet. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm about to bring up a gift to the body of Christ. An awesome gift that should be treasured. And I don't believe in flattery. I'm being honest. Amen. She's an awesome woman of God. A tremendous, humble spirit. A servant of God. She's the example of what can happen if you really give yourself totally to God. Since she's been here, she's never, been, she's never stopped talking about Jesus. When I talk to her, she says, I'm praying. I'm asking the Lord what to say to the people. How can I bless her people? That's all she's talking about, how she can bless somebody else. So at this time, let's give a hearty hallelujah, amen. Praise the Lord for Mary Catherine Baxter. ago, and uh, I was really excited to come and share more about Jesus, but I want to ask you guys a question. Have you seen the movie, The Passion? Amen! Uh, it really, I think, is an eye-opener to many of us that, uh, that love Jesus to see what he saved us from, you know? Eternal damnation, what I'm going to talk about tonight. Christ come to save us from this horrible place called hell. And the pastor and I were talking in the office. I said I'd had visions of the crucifixion many years ago. And it was worse than the movie. It was worse. It was worse. He was actually dripping in blood. Uh, uh, carrying that cross on Via Della Rosa. I mean, slipping in his own blood. He was beat beyond recognition. And he did that so we would not go to hell, you know. So he could give us a choice of life eternal if we would choose him. And to close the gates of hell for us and our families. And uh, did anybody know about the march today? Did you guys hear about the downtown Chicago? Yeah. Who heard about it? Yeah. Wow, it's on the news, it was on the news, huh? What, honey, what'd you say? There's a march about against the war. Against, there was another march too. Yeah, thousands was marching today. And I told God, I said, thank you, Lord, for an open door to preach on hell. Thank you, God, for an opportunity once again uh, to share the uh, What I'm going to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about my book. Since I've seen Mary, uh, my pastor and I have written another book uh, called A Divine Revelation of Angels. And we had sent some books here, but I don't know what happened to them. So we're going to find out Monday. But uh, we have the book available. We have uh, the book of hell, which I'm going to preach on tonight. And the book of heaven. I was taken to heaven ten times. And I walked on streets of gold. I saw what happens to little babies. And when their little soul uh, comes out of that body and goes to heaven, how God completes them in heaven. And they grow up in heaven to the age of maturity. And you'll be reunited with your children someday. I saw in heaven how your record books, when you get born again, how the angels wash your pages in crimson red. And nothing is written about your old life. You know? But it, it has. It's all Bible. It's all Bible scriptures. It's all Bible scriptures. And he says that I, even I, am he that blotteth out all your old transgressions. 
And he did it through the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, his precious blood. Way back, you know, research. And uh, this book is just going to be great. So we'll understand about the blood now. I hope you don't throw up tomatoes at me, but there are pastors in our cities that do not like to talk about the blood of Jesus. They are leaders, I'm dead serious, there are leaders in our world that don't want you to talk about the saving blood of Jesus Christ. And we as God's children have to stand and never be ashamed of what Christ did for us. Amen. And so we did that book and then we did one on spiritual warfare. Uh, which is going to be a great, great book. And uh, amen? Yes. So be sure you look, check for those in the bookstores and everything. But now, these here tonight are $10 each, right? You have uh, 10 for 50 That's $5 each. And you can mix and match all of them. It doesn't matter. And you'll make your checks out to me, Mary Kay Baxter. And then we have a special three books, I think, for $20, $25. The lady will tell you. $25? Okay. And uh, let's go to God in prayer. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we just give you honor for being here with us tonight. We feel your awesome power. We welcome in your presence, Lord. We welcome in you, Lord God, above all of us, for your special Jesus. We draw close to you like never before, Lord, in these days and times. Hallelujah. I feel his presence in this place. I feel the presence of God. Lord, we give you honor for your presence, and we love you, Lord Jesus. Bless this offering, Lord God. Let it be a great offering to the leaders here, Lord God, the pastor that's labored so hard to bring this conference together. Lord Jesus, let your holy power, oh, hallelujah, just saturate us here, Lord. God, whatever you want me to do, Lord, I will do it. Use me, Lord, for your glory, your honor, your praise. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. We feel his power in you. Thank you for your presence, Lord God. Saturate these grounds, Lord Jesus. Saturate the air, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, we lift you up and give you credit. We give you glory. We give you honor for bringing us together here in the city, Lord. For bringing us, Lord, oh, hallelujah, different pathways and different ways we've come. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord, I feel your mercy drops falling upon us. I feel your love, Lord God. Lord, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. For we know these are trying times, Lord God. Hallelujah. I feel his power, I tell you. I feel the presence of Almighty God in this place. Honey, we're serving a God of power. And we're serving a God of strength. That God's going to have a call upon many of you that's been worn out and weary. And just, I don't know, it's like you, you're coming to a breakthrough in your life and you haven't got there yet. And I believe tonight or today you're going to get your breakthrough. You know, it's like if we don't see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, we'll faint along the way. Amen? So we've got to have that breakthrough in our lives. And each individual in here needs a breakthrough of God in your life. Am I right? Amen. Hallelujah. So we get our offerings ready. I'll let Pastor, you want to come and help me with the people that collect the offerings? Hallelujah. Where'd you go? Praise the Lord. At this time, you ready to sow your seed? I believe uh, Minister Baxter said all that needs to be said. Sow your seed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. 